Hello and welcome back to another exciting tutorial. In today's video, we are going to use Power Automate to look at how we can reply to the original email as soon as it comes in instead of sending a new email. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so as a first step, we head over to make.powerautomate.com and as a first screen, you will see your home screen. Click on create and here we will use automated Cloudflow because we want this to be triggered by a designated event. The event in this case will be whenever we receive a new email. We could put conditions to the email for a specific user or whether it contains a specific subject. For this case, instant cloud flow and schedule flow may not help because we don't want this to run on any schedule. We want this to run whenever a new email arrives. So let's click on automated cloud flow. And here let's give a good name. So let's say reply to original email. And for the trigger, Let's search for Outlook and here you have options for Outlook 365 and a regular Outlook. So it really depends on whatever you are using. If you have paid Outlook, then select Outlook 365. If you are using free version, then just select the one that does not have 365 with it. So let's just select when a new email arrives and click on create. And this will create our first step, which is when a new email arrives. Since my Outlook is already connected with this, if we click on three dots here, we will see Outlook connection. But for your case, it will ask you for ID password of your Outlook and you can just provide it and it should continue to work. It's a very simple process. Once it is connected, you will click on this box and you should be able to see the folders in your inbox. So let's say we want to double check that this is the correct email it has picked up. Let's open up our Outlook to see if we have these folders in our Outlook. So as you can see here, we have this folder P Auto. We also have a few more banking folders, etc. So let's see if we still have these here. Actually, the banking folder should be inside of somewhere inbox. So yes, we have this here. Great. So the folder you want to monitor is all of the inbox. You can select any specific folder from advanced options. You can add a filter for any specific recipient. So let's say you want to only filter your emails from your boss. You can add his email ID here. You can add CC information here. So for example, if you're not in the two, but you're only CC'd, but you still want to get some information or get a notification, you can add the information here. Then you can add information for whether you want to include attachments. You can say yes or no. If you want to look for any specific keyword in the subject, you can add here. And then you can say only read emails with attachments. We can say no, we don't want only read it emails with attachments. We want to read all Click on new step. And here we will look for reply to email. So let's search it again. Since we have used the free version before, we will use the same one right now. So let's try to find out where it is. So we have reply to V3. This is Outlook. So let's keep scrolling. You shouldn't see it here somewhere. Interestingly, it's not here. So let's try to manually find it. So let's click on Outlook. I've seen it before, so I know it's there somewhere. So click on Outlook and from actions searched for reply to email v3 click on it and here for message id we will select the message id from the dynamic content the reason for this is that the message id contains the unique identifier of the message which is of the sender because we have not created anything else yet so that all of the dynamic content available is from the sender information so let's select message id so it's, it will search for this message id and then reply to this message id here you can add your information. So for example, you can say your email has been received on and here you can add date and time. So let's say UTC now. Keep in mind that UTC now will not be formatted. So let's test it without formatting and then we can add formatting later on. And then let's add an enter. And now you also want to add the body of your original email in it. So you can trace the actual information. Let's add body. Keep in mind that all of this dynamic content is coming from the incoming email information. We have not done anything else yet. So the only dynamic content that's available is from the original email. Then again, you can add attachments. There are advanced options as well. You can add subject, importance, and so on. So let's click on save for now. And let's try to test it. For easier understanding, I will be using my Outlook and Proton email. So let me go to my inbox 
let me move all of these folders somewhere else so let's create a new folder for now let's just call it temp i'm just gonna move all these emails here so we have a nice looking empty inbox to work with let me open up my proton email i'm going to send an email to myself from my proton email and then see if it's able to auto reply to my email with the information we added in the flow back to the flow let's click on test since we don't have any flow run before we will have to click on manually click on save and test and here it says to see it work now send a new email to your inbox so let's head over to proton and let's send an email to myself which is the data corner 5 at outlook.com so i'm just gonna go to send items and just forward an email i've already sent several emails to this let's click on forward i'm just gonna change the email subject so i'm gonna say august 23 24 server issue and for the email body i'm gonna say hey tom please check and update on the server issue asap click on send before we do that let's add the information for the email id so i'm just gonna pick it from original email so this might seem a bit confusing but keep in mind that we're sending from the proton email and we are sending to the outlook email and what we want to do is that whenever the email from proton arrives to outlook we want that specific email to be replied and sent back to the proton email with some information click on send and let's go back to inbox and we should get an email reply here let's also go here to see if we are able to pick up the flow in progress this is pretty fast so let's give it a few seconds maybe five ten seconds and it should we have the email received at my outlook and you can see there is a draft in it already that's been created it says we're still sending your message so hopefully this should go out in a couple of minutes not sure why it's taking so long once that is done we should receive an email here so right it says still sending if your flow ran successfully so it did run so let's see if the email has been sent and now you can see it seems like uh, I create another test flow so two flows are being run right now so one I created yesterday just for testing it says this is my reply and this one we just created right now this your email has been received on and we added the UTC and then we added the email body which is right here hey Tom please check an update on server issue ASAP and if we click here we see that the email that we sent here is actually down here and then we got a new reply on this that says your email has been received on UTC now and with the actual email body as well. You can usually use these to set up notifications. So for example, if you're working in IT department and you receive some tickets or some kind of system and you want to acknowledge your emails, you can set up an auto acknowledge email that we have received your email and we are working on it. Right. So I hope this video was helpful and you understand it properly. If you still have any questions or concerns you can let me know in the comment section if you have any ideas or issues you want me to work on let me know in the comment section as well till next time happy coding